Hey, my name's Kyuru. I'm a DVD content creator. In this video, I do show up one of my favorite alien builds. He is so, so good, in my opinion, despite he does have a couple things where he could be affected. If you play him right, and if you have good reaction time, he is an A tier killer. Like, he is so much fun to play as. With his map pressure, his tail, and in general, just his sense of fear that he can instill in survivors. But before we get into the build, if you're new here, I ask you to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Every single sub is literally helping me unlock new features right now. It is insane. So if you like the video and you watch it through, give it a try. So, you mean the world to me. If you don't, it's okay. We have many, many things we're still gonna be doing, whether we have support or not. But yeah, onto the video. So for the build breakdown real quick, we're doing Pop Goes the Weasel, we're doing Nowhere to Hide, we're doing Lethal Pursuer, and we're doing Barbecue and Chili, and here's why. So Pop is essentially, when you hook a survivor, you have 45 seconds, you can kick a gen and lose 20% of its progress. Now you may be thinking, Scott, why don't you run Surge? Scott, why don't you run um, Pain Res? Because I'm going to be kicking gens quite often, and you'll see in a second why. I actually choose a 20% bonus for this, and it works well with a perk called Nowhere to Hide. Nowhere to Hide is when you damage a gen, I reveal the order of all survivors stand within 20 perimeters of your position for 5 seconds. So this way, I can go over to gens that I think are probably being progressed, or I can just tunnel over to gens that at least have some progress on them, and go ahead, kick it with pop, see anywhere with Nowhere to Hide, instantly get chase, guarantee that chase. And then that will help me, because it's for 5 seconds, right? Leave the Pursuer. Run lethal for the first 9 seconds of the trial, I can see where everybody's at. Get instant chase that way, gain that instant chase into a down, turn that down into pop, turn that pop into nowhere to hide. On top of that, it extends all ordering perks for 2 seconds. So the good news about this is, now nowhere to hide instead of being 5 seconds, it's 7 seconds. And run barbecue, and barbecue is another chase perk where if I go ahead and hook somebody, I can see anybody who's 40 meters or more away from me, which is huge. So you get that 40 meters away, and on top of that, that 5 seconds that I can see people now turns into 7 seconds as well. So I can track people from a decent amount of time. I'm actually in tunnel and I can see people, and you'll see it in the video with the aura reading, but it's so useful. So that's my perk choices for this, and on to the add-ons. So for the add-ons, I'm using crew headset, and I'm using overmorph? Overmorph? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Pretty simple. Um, this one makes the work. You can actually see footsteps of people running when you're in the tunnels. It gets you an idea where people are. I go ahead and change my base detection and increase it by 6 meters. This allows me to see a decent amount of people are running while I'm just going through stuff. It gets me information. Even though I don't necessarily chase it, I know where people are at. And where people are at is huge because you can swing sometimes survivors you're in chase with into other survivors. It is insane what you can do with them. I do crew headset and I go in and I use Overmorph. And Overmorph makes it where if I'm out, of the tunnels, or if I'm in chase and I get flame turret in, my natural crawler mode, which is my best ability by far, um, is off cooldown by 25%. It is insane, as long as I'm not in tunnels, which if you're in tunnels, you already get crawler mode back. It's it's ridiculous, man. But this makes it to where I can use my tail walk faster by 25% of the time. That saves me about a good 6 to 7 seconds in chase. It is super, super nice. It is one of the add-ons that I would almost use every single time I play Xenomorph, because there's not a reason to not, really. It's insane. But yeah, on to the gameplay. So first thing we got is Lethal Pursuer. Lord have mercy. I bloody hate Orman. It'll be fine though. Um, we got Lethal so we can see where people are at right now. One, two, and I'm gonna go immediately to that one. Uh, two distortion users worth knowing. We're gonna burn through it pretty quick though, which is good. Okay, let's come on through right to here. Crawler's active, so I think a flame turret is as well. We're gonna go for a one-two if we can. No flame turret yet. And there's more than one here. Decent number, actually. She's almost in range. I think she's in range. I'm gonna go for an M1 to so an M2 if I can. I like to get M2s when I can, but I'd rather have one person injured and guarantee another hit instead of getting juked right here. Because it's super important that I keep this early game pressure, because if I don't, I'm just done. We're good here. There's no pout either. Alright, let's go ahead and get them hooked. We'll get a pop, which pop is still a good perk. Despite the nerf, it makes it a little more balanced. Personally, I like pop at 25, but... It was a huge meta, so meta shifts always happen, it's just a way of life. Now I do know there was a person or two over this way. And as soon as I get a tail here, I'm gonna hit the flame turret. Beautiful. This way I don't lose my tail too quickly. Let's see if no one to hide from here or not. No, currently not. If they are here, they have distortion, we know two people are probably using that perk. Which is more than fine, we're gonna burn through it best we can. The barbecue also is gonna help us when we hook people here. There goes, I think that's Meg again. The one we're actually after is one here, which is Michaela. We can definitely go for Meg, and if you're trying to do a super efficient game, trying to win as quick as possible, definitely go for Meg in situations like that. We are not trying to win, and the quickest way we're not trying to tell anyone out right now, because we're more or less trying to show up efficiency. So this way we just take out Michaela here. You know, it's little crevices in the row are huge. Now I'm hoping to God no one's right here. 
Don't have to worry about score tricks or anything. One hook is the good as the next right now. You just want to make sure that if you're going to get killing people with your hooks, you don't put them all in the same spot, and you're all good. Okay, I definitely got one person right here we can make do with. Hey, yo. And to us, beautiful. And ideally, they may go over the counter. We got Pop already off for second time. We got good gin defense, considering. Not surprised. If she kept running, she probably would have got down still. But that little bit of stutter when you throw a pound is more than enough time for what we needed. Let's get her hooked real quick. I'll see if there's any gins that are being progressed near us. Most likely the one by Michaela, I imagine, is probably going to be worked on again. Someone's in the basement. Interesting. I think they're doing the Weaving Spiders innovation. Maybe we'll just stop that if we're luckier. I gotta be quick about it, though. She probably with the distortion users we burnt through. Nah, they finished it in time. Alright, so an eye for an eye. Well, she's one shot. She's going down. But she held out her team pretty dramatically to do that. Barbecue will burn through more distortion tokens real quick. We're gonna pop. And she's in basement, far away from her team. Kind of huge, honestly. They're healing over there. I'm not seeing anyone else working on stuff. I'm gonna ignore pop for the moment because there's almost no gens that are really that heavily progressed. And we're gonna go over to here real quick. We'll see if we hear footsteps. We got an extra detection sensor for that. There we go. Got Kate over here. I may have to hit that from here. Nah. And notice that stagger if you miss a shot. That's why with Alien's Tail, it's important to guarantee you can hit your shots before you take them. Because they can make a decent amount of distance spent on you. A turn of chase that should have lasted 15 seconds, and a chase that'll last a lot longer. But it can also save you a couple seconds as well, so that's a nice part of it. Okay, they got Meg from basement. We're at 5 hooks, 5 gems still, which is insane. Let's go up to the hilltop gen. And ambush whoever's standing there. I didn't see anyone else, but I didn't look around that much to be fair. Well, here. That's all good. There's Mei, so she'd be out the game right now. Let's get nowhere to hide up real quick. Run through another token. There they are. We'll pursue this real quick. See if someone picks up Meg. If they don't, it's all good. And this shit's been worked out pretty heavy. So I know what I'm popping next. I want to try for it. Perfect. I don't think she physically is safe enough to throw a pallet. And same trick worked twice on her, so we'll take that, we'll take that. We're gonna pop that gen. Maybe still on the ground. They just got her up and running for their lives. So that gen won't be touched, not really. Um, I know where I'm going next. So that's gonna be Kate down that way. And the new D&D character is running mid with Meg, I think. That's what we were seeing. Let's stop this gen real quick. We may be able to keep all of our gems right now. We'll see. Good quick hit and good reaction too. I barely kept it. Holy cow. Literally not a second longer. I'm going to remark this gen for a later time. Kate's dead, which is the good news for us. I do believe. If we do catch her this time. Not be surprised these survivors hop back on here shortly. Let's see. Kate's got a decent amount of distance on me, man. I figured that'd be the case. Beautiful. A good chance you could've just stayed up there, and I would've just had to go around, or probably left chase in that case. But this guarantees me that I don't have anything to really worry about. Looks like they're back on hilltop, Jen. She's not dead. Alright, let's go back in real quick. Someone got a flame turret on me. <laughs> but we had to escape it, and we got put some foot away. That's you, the headset, thank you for that. Yeah, you can see him from a far distance, man. Okay. Let's go back on over to that one. I didn't pick up anything with nowhere to hide. The mighty distortion tokens can come back pretty damn quick. I'm going like the opposite way, but I need to. Holy. Or are you trying? I took up. Lost agent. Yeah, why am I sad about that, dude? I'm four gins. Holy. No, I'm more than fun. There are people down here. Dude, grab and counter you, much, yeah. Understandable. Go ahead and break you. We're gonna have to do old fashioned mind games on this. If I don't get stuck on walls. Okay. 
I think she left. I think she just danced with me, honestly. I may be wrong on that one. Oh, let's go to mid real quick. Mid and Hildren are gonna be good choices. Cause then I'll get back crawler mode. Cause back so much quicker. In the overworld, we got a good crowd. A surprising amount, honestly. Mid's always good basis as to where like, okay, there may be people here, there may not be people here, we'll see. Still in Hildren. And we lost that gen as well, which that one's being progressed a bit. Nice. I'm gonna block window with my body. Oh, I was completely off my window. Cluster had she ducked. Good on her. Oh, let's break check belt. And we need to leave this for a little bit. We're taking too much time when it comes to our hits right there. We should have been a bit slower. You know what a hide's gonna get up real quick? We don't have pop and we don't necessarily need it. And she's down that way. If I do this chase, she does die. I think the only person not on death mode is the D&D &D character. So I gotta make sure. I can hit me through a couch. I was too fair. So I gotta make sure that whoever I commit to next, I can just off. Um, if I find the D&D &D character, that's okay. It's not a big deal and I will chase it down. But I wanna make sure that I secure my gens. Because if I leave too many people up right now, I will lose the game. As great as insecure if we have been, it will just be over for us. It's that simple. Ah, she knew. Insane, man. Good mind game. Good mind game. Let's go for an M1 into an M2. Does she have life or anything? We know that. She's exhausted all resources she had there. I'm going to leave that pallet up. It's not worth breaking because later on we can just play around it. Simple enough. I managed to destroy it before I lost tail. If you see a flame turret, don't panic. Don't be like, shit, 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 shit. Uh, just take a second. Wait. And then use your tail to break it. It is so much better. Funny alien, go brrrr. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's get our hook and we can use pop on that gym before it's finished. I should have a hook right up here that I'll never use otherwise. It actually got finished? Damn. Oh, I really didn't think it would. We're okay, we're okay. Broken. It gets close, dude. It gets so close. I think there are add-ons for alien that can help when it comes to the flame turret, but there's not an awful lot. I think the ones that help you out of your stagger from it. Ooh, that's my bad. Super dangerous spot for her. I'll say I didn't know she was in range for the hit. Happily, we'll take it though. I rolled on death hook from here. Let's play this out. And we're on barbecue. Immediately, you can see one. Oh, that's scream, man. All right, uh, let's get into the tunnel. I'm gonna try and defend that. I have enough time on pop. You have 45 seconds before pop expires, so. There's a flame turret set down there. I can guarantee that. Mainly because there's only one out right now. One left to be put out. Ah, I try to cut it off. Okay, she'll make it through. If she goes for a window, she may have it. Us double windowed. I thought it'd be double door to one window. That's just RNG for the spawn. Perfect. Ah, she made it far. Okay. Uh, this is bad. Not what I was hoping for at all. The other two survivors reset. I'm gonna let her go for now. We're gonna pop this. I'm gonna go and try for... I'm gonna guess Hildren, honestly. That's where I personally would go. I'm doubtful, super doubtful we see anywhere I know where to hide. Do I need to get pop out the way instead of just wasting it? 20% on gym, man. I thought I picked up for a second. Maybe I'm wrong. Odd. Uh, Hildjian looks fine. Nice. Scary, but nice. I got three gyms over here that I can just secure. Someone's still on this. They were for a second. Yeah, it's not a hallucination either. It's crazy that another hallucination is survivors. That's something you gotta be like, holy. Okay. Brave. Good job, man. Outside of that part, that, that was not good. The rest of that was awesome. Oh. And they crawled away from pallet, because I would have hesitated just a little bit on that. Last gen's almost done. I realized my gins are being done so quickly because of the leading spiders. I actually completely forgot that was done early. 
I was like, wow, it doesn't feel like it's been that long on some of these. Oh, it's very much because of that. Alright, let's save this gym. Just enough. I should be out of here? No, I'm still intel. Beautiful. So one thing, when you're carrying people, it is the best time to deal with flame turrets. Because not only can you just like beat it up, punch it that way. But also because, look, if I get flame turreted right now, it doesn't really do anything to me. Because I'm out of tail mode. Now, Hatch is main building. Hatch always spawns down below. So I just have to walk over here real quick and find where it's going to be. And it's right here. I thought I saw the person fall back upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to check up here before I'm really worried about doors or anything, honestly. See if there are by any chance over here. Not seeing them. Okay. Could be in a locker, of course, but still. Oh. Well, we found him. <laughs> you see the little cage? Just like, uh oh. She knew that we saw her right there, too. I guarantee it. Alright. It's over, man. Tail strikes for Max. And that should be GG. But no, person. <laughs> It's a tougher map, dealt with weaving spiders. The build did good, and we made sure we weren't really tunneling or camping anyone. So, like, if you like this, if you like it, let me know. But I hope you have a good day. There will be more alien videos coming out soon with a couple more chase ones and a couple more um, hook based ones for auto auto general regression. So, I still believe the score chokes, despite a lot of people's opinions on I'm not sure Pain Resonance is that good now. I still think they are really, really good. I think they're just more balanced than they were prior. But yeah. Anyways, much love to you. Take care. This is for you, Zeb. Bye bye.